What's up, buds? And welcome back to the YouTube channel. We are headed to Honolulu for Bride. Look at the dolls. Look at the dolls. She wants residuals. If you don't like the smudge, it's season one filter. The truth is, you are beautiful. You are really beautiful. Thank you. No. <laughs> Thank you. You are. You are. That sounds I mean. so nice to hear. Just look at her editing YouTube videos and eating delicious breakfasts. Look at the dolls. They're shedding layers. Shedding layers. Oh, giving body. And just like that, the dolls have landed and we are off. Are you ready, dolls? When you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. I know, that's right. We're ready, but I'm wondering why you're not ready. Sweetie, y'all are in sweatpants and no makeup. How dare you? Turn the camera around. How show us I will ready. turn the camera around. Mama, they are so punished that I'm in all this glam with a little kitten heel. Look at the heel. Show show Look at the show. heel. You can't take the doll. Well, thank you. We are pulling up to the Kaimana Hotel, honey. We're back, back, back again. Look at how gorgeous she is. Ooh. Travi, where are the lays? The lays are coming. Oh, they're coming. They're I was coming. so sad when I, I got to the airport. So it's different. I'm I was like, what right is now. happening? <laughs> I usually get laid the minute I land. I know, I know, I know. Here they come, Auntie Tori. Yes. Lay the dolls. Lay the dolls. Oh. Uh, 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 oh. Oh. Thank you. I love you. I love you so much. Okay, checking into the room. Now you know I was a little upset because the last time I was here, the tub was insane. But this will work. This will work because, baby, look at what I really got. Huh. How is the view? You're fucking kidding me. It's the wraparound porch. It is the wraparound porch. Look at this view. Oh my God, the water looks so gorgeous right now. Wow, she's a lucky doll. Okay, first things first, we always unpack. People are like, why do you travel with so much clothes? I'm like, girl, I have outfits and matching bags and night looks and day looks and swimsuits and cover ups. Look at over here being professional, ironing the look for the day. We've got hats for each look. We've got jewels, sunglasses. Baby, we are ready. Okay, the doll is officially changed. We got the hair curled. We got the new poochie glasses. Oh, we are ready for all of this. Yeah. We're gonna go have a quick little meeting with Auntie Tori about the Honolulu Pride, and then we're gonna go meet G Dolce for lunch. This is your guys' Pride um, packet. This is the Pride Towel and a Pride Fan. Pride Towel and a Pride Fan. We love gifts. And then this is from for you and the Ganja This is from Manoala Hawaii. Oh. Um, he's one of our local famous designers, and yes. that's a Captain Rope. Hey guys, Gorge. So oh, she's feeling her Honolulu Pride fantasy. We got Tori's sister Ube cupcake. So cute. Girl, you are hooking us up. Time for lunch. All the dolls are giving glamour. We also got G in the house. I need to sign off on all of this. Okay, yeah, we'll get your clearance. Oceans right out there. So pretty. Oh, yes, the lava flow with the floater. Yes. Okay, what'd you get, Kylie? I got a chicken uh, BLT. You're gonna love it. Chicken BLT. What did you get, Mommy? I got the Kobe taco thing. Colby taco thing. I handed it to her and now she. I got the fish tacos. <laughs> and what did you get? Honey, same. Kobe tacos. Look at that. With kimchi, baby. No, uh -huh. kimchi. Okay. And baby, it would not be a trip to Honolulu without the Ross. I mean, look at how picturesque that is. Huh. Wow. Time to take a little nap and enjoy the sunset. 
before we go out and meet Jaime. Okay, she like that. She never gets nobody videotaping her. She's like that. It's very her. Yeah, she's like that. She's like that. She's like that. I've already been up there. I already picked up her. Everybody, put your hands and give a warm aloha to our friend, another friend. This is like her second home too. Yeah. She's always here too. Put your hands together and this is our friend, this Kimora Blonde. Yeah. She jumped out of a plane with me. You're Roll the sad. footage now. Oh, now. Roll the footage now. <laughs> but I love her so much. Hawaii would not be the same without her. I love you so much. Wow. Good morning. The dolls are up and dressed, and we are headed to a little press junket over at Pula's. Then we're going to have some lunch and enjoy the day before the first official after party paradise tonight, where I'll be performing live and singing my brand new single, Daily Basis. Super excited about that. So here we go. Good morning. Good morning. Sis. Are you ready for the press? Mama, it's last day of press. Last day of press. We made it. We made it. We You're made looking it. gorgeous. I love this hair. Thank you. Are those from the hotel? They are. I knew it. I knew it. Girl, she couldn't be bothered. Hi, Kylie. This is the TV land. <laughs> I owe you money. Oh my god. A lot of speed. What do we need to let out? I need everyone to say what they need to say and keep the same energy. Let's get Sydney. Let's get Hawaii Presto. Baby, we have been going at each other's throats. I just found out what Laganja's heels look like. I found out that I'm androgynous and ambiguous. Ambiguous. Oh, listen, girl, I would have called that a heel. Girl. I swear to God, no, after no, this trip, I'm de transitioning. I just can't do it. What is it called? A block. I can't keep a block on a shoe. A nice Not a brick. <laughs> oh my God. The dolls. They're turned up today already. Here we go. Here with Auntie Tori. So excited. I love you. Love you. Okay, at this time, I would like to invite Sasha to share a few remarks or we'll open it up to questions. Um, it's amazing to be home. Uh, this is an amazing homecoming. Being able to capture uh, a very big accolade in my career and in queer history, and to be the first Mahawahine um, Kanakabalami to capture that has been a blessing to represent not only uh, the trans community as a whole, but my Kanaka and my mom and sister. So. Cheeky. And it just shows how many people uh, really are loving drag as an art form and it's allowing them to experience other human experiences that they would never be privy to. And it allows uh, the normalization of trans individuals and, and queer people in general and knowing that we're so much more than our, our trauma or our sad story. That we are literally living queer joy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get to be home in Honolulu for Honolulu Pride this year. I'm the Grand Marshal. It has been, I mean, I have been up and down many streets in Waikiki for years. <laughs> First time on a float. Um, <laughs> Hi, um, so I'm, first of all, so happy to be here and so grateful. So thank you everybody who thought about me when I'm putting on this. Um, I'm so excited to be performing on the same stage that Britney Spears did like 20 something years ago, The Shell. Um, I'm gonna be uh, performing, singing my original music and at 420, um, so that's awesome. And Sasha's gonna be there as well. I'm so excited to get to do this with my sister. We, we've lived together, we've worked together, um, and now we get to have a, similar story that we can share that no one else 
you know, wouldn't understand. So, um, yeah, it's just so awesome to get to see all of this, too, and be here. Um, I love Pride. The first time I ever knew that it was going to be okay um, and that there was, you know, a place for me is when I was, like, 17 and I had someone sneak me up to the big city. I saw the first gay flag outside of a bookstore and I saw people holding hands of the same sex walking down the street. And, um, and that was like the first pride I ever experienced. So it's, it's so wonderful to see that um, people are still doing that and we still need that. And yeah, so I always am so happy to be part of pride. Thank you so much. I'll go ahead and open the mic to you, Kimberly. Hello, I hope y'all can hear me okay. Um, oh my goodness. I feel like in life we always go through journeys, and I feel like being here in Hawaii is my first time actually, and I'm so honored, I'm so, I feel so privileged. There's such a rich culture and spirit here in Hawaii, and it's so interesting how the universe works through families of all different types. I have to be Sasha Colby's daughter and I got to learn so much about mom culture and just really the essence of why we do what we do. And also in being here, um, one of my relatives, my brother was raised here and being here, uh, he recently passed. So kind of getting to live in his shadow a bit, it's just been so beautiful to understand from this perspective what he saw, what he lived, what he felt. And he always had a light about him that I always was like, where does that come from? And I feel like I'm learning that. And I don't know, not to get too deep, but it's just a really, truly is a magical experience to be in life. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Okay, so Tori, what are we having? We're having a sweet type A sweet type Just how I like it. Uh... I love the color though. You know, if it ain't green, I'm not interested. Now it's time for my favorite poke. Ooh, I'm so excited. You guys are seeing you is free for you guys. See? Beach time with mother. Jeez. Yes. Mama, look at the dolls. Oh my god. They're in silhouette, but they're still so stunning. Hopefully some of it will rub off on me. Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. I need to see a doctor tomorrow. That bitch is a goddess. G-O-D-D-D-S-S. -D -D -S -S. Wow. Is that how it is? Fresh tilapia. Oh my God. No. Fresh caviar. Ooh, You're the most expensive you. canned fish I've ever seen. <laughs> Actually, I'm farm manufacturing. Wow. <laughs> Yes, I have on a shower cap. I had to protect my hair, but look who's here. Papa Carissa, Hi. princess, hi. And how are the fireworks from my balcony? Wow. So they do these every Friday and I'm just so lucky enough to catch them before I head to the gig. Hey, look who came to see me tonight. The incredible, the gorgeous, the talented, the ever so kind Jaime. I'm so sorry, but I'm from RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah. So you guys got a table in your house. We love that. And a flat screen TV. I said happy motherfucking pride, everybody. Yeah. It is a very small crowd, but it's okay because it's for 10. And you know these motherfuckers over here on the island, they come out late as fuck. Okay. So baby, thank you guys so much for coming out early. Yeah. That doesn't mean y'all leaving early, right? No. 
Okay, thank God, because I'm here to the end, so you guys got to stick with me. Now listen, we have such an amazing night tonight. We have such an amazing lineup. We have celebrities in the house. I know exactly who's on the way here and who is here now. So before I introduce them, I just want to do a little, a little energy check. I like to say this check, this game is called, I want to know who can do the best. Oh. Did you guys get the instructions? So the noise is, oh, okay. So I'm gonna throw a random guy right now, the buff one. Where's the buff guy? I, I like to pick you, come here. I need to know if you can do the best. Oh. Everybody please be, everybody please be very, very open-minded. This is a safe place to party, okay? There's no judgment. If I catch you judging, I'm gonna clock the hell out of you, okay? So let me see. <laughs> All right, so when I count to three, I want you to give me the best. Oh. One, two, three. Oh. Wow. Sure. Oh, shit. Yes, okay, so stand right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need another one. I need another guy. Anyone 6'2? Six 6'2? Two? Six two? Come here, 6'3. Come here, baby. Oh my god. I feel like you're about to make the same noise. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can just smell it. I can definitely just smell it. Alright, so you got the instructions, yeah? The best. Oh. Okay, one, two, three. Oh. Yeah, you're definitely lonely for sure. I know, I know. You want to redo it? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. You, you guys want to redo it? Yeah! Okay, one, two, three. Oh. Mousy, for sure, mousy. Okay, let me, get, let, me get, let me get a girl. Let me get a beautiful woman. Trans women, women. No, not you. I'm just saying all women. You, I want to see you do it. Here we go. The instruction. Now you want to come up? Okay, so the instructions is, I want you to make the noise, oh. So she just told me that she wasn't listening for the past five minutes. Damn. Okay, I love that. I love her already. Okay, so when I count to three, I want you guys, I want you to give me the best noise. One, two, three. fun last night at the party. It is about 10 a.m. I am up, back in the swimsuit, and we are renting a car and headed to Sherwood Beach, which I've never been to before. Super excited to check it out. The girls went the other day, said it was just so beautiful. White sands, clear water, not a lot of people. So I'm so excited to go check out a new spot that I've never been. So buckle up, we're going on an adventure. Okay, stop number one on the adventure. I saw the girls had come over here to get their beauty shots, but I just wanted to come see it for myself. Wow, beyond. I mean, seriously, how beautiful though, right? I love the way that the water has corroded the rocks. Kind of reminds me of this place called the Giant's Causeway in Ireland. It looks very different than this, but it's just so interesting to me to see how the water sort of creates these erosions and beautiful rock patterns. Oh, I'm not even stoned yet. And look at her, she's feeling it. Time for a little lunch. And how gorgeous is the beach? She found her own little private section, mama. Not people for days, exactly like I like it, underneath the tree for shade. 
Ooh, and I'm so excited about this lunch. Let's get into it. Okay, so we did the ahi fish tacos with the garlic fries. And then I got a side of garlic shrimp, which let's see if it compares to Giovanni's, which we're definitely gonna hit up on Monday. But you know, I had to get the hot sauces and get it going. Well, she was a gorgeous afternoon and the perfect little picnic lunch. Oh, and now look at what I'm walking back into to get to my car. Huh. So gorgeous. This is why I love Hawaii. The nature here is unreal. It's like a magical forest land. Just complete and utter serenity. And how about this little blowhole moment? A little private beach because you gotta climb down all these rocks. But you know me, even in my flip flops, I was like, okay. Here we go to the private cove, baby. Look at that. pretty magnificent. Let's give her a chance to give us a wave. But just look at the color of this water. I'm dead. See, that one wasn't big enough. Oh, there it was. Hey. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, look at the turtle. Take your head back out, mister. That is so beautiful. Something else, oh, a stingray. I see a stingray. Wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> okay, wait, I think this is the blowhole. A little bit, can you see it? This is definitely one of the most gorgeous spots I've ever found. I'm kind of gagged. Like, look at this. Just my own little private alcove. Ugh. I'm a little scared to get in because the water is rough and it seems rocky over here, which is probably why people aren't here. And I'm not trying to Meryl Streep River Wild this shit. Here it comes. Ooh. There's another turtle down here, y'all. Let's see if you can see it. I don't know, the water is not gonna settle. There he is, though, down there. The dolls are gorge. Wow. You're gonna Baby. be stage oh. left. This is stage oh. right, okay? Last night's catching up to her? Girl, I need to stop going out. Look at the body. Look at the body. Look at the body. Yes. Thank you, doll. Cheers to the clears who take it up their rear. Cheers. Happy Pride. Oh, she did good. 
She did good, look at the body. Yes, mama, happy pride. see one of my favorite legends of all, Alan Cumming, presented by Alaska Airlines. Let's go. Yeah! And you know, it wouldn't be a trip to Hawaii without visiting my Scarlet fam. Let's go. Good morning, good morning. The doll is up and fully dressed, like the full chandelier for brunch. Last night was so amazing. Alan Cumming was beyond my wildest dream. So much fun. Looking forward to this last little gigarama. Look at the doll. Good morning. Oh, and then we are going to head to the beach and just relax. Let's go to the beach. Let's go get away. Well, I hurt myself during brunch today, so <laughs> here we are in the emergency room. <laughs> Love it. Well, dolls, last night was definitely one for the books that I'll never forget. I am very lucky that my hip is not dislocated. There's no broken bones, but unfortunately, it is going to take several weeks for this to heal. So I canceled my gig, sadly, in Austin this coming weekend, and we'll just have to play it by ear to see how things go. I did get some pain medication, so I slept pretty much the rest of yesterday. I'm so grateful to my dear friends, Princess and Liko, who took such amazing care of me, got me to the ER, got me my meds, got me a heating blanket, a pillow, got me my udon that I love so much that I get here every time I come, and just set me up for success. So shout out to them. Seriously, couldn't have done this without them. Uh, Tori and Dana also came over and gave me some extra pain medication. So we also appreciate them. And then today I've pretty much just been sleeping all that off. But I promised myself I would make it to Wyola's and get my shaved ice. 
you know, I'd rented a car and so I was really looking forward to going to North Shore today, but it just didn't happen. I knew that I needed to stay off my leg. So I did, but we are here on Kaimana Beach. We got the umbrella and the chair and we're just gonna watch the sunset and make the most of these last moments that I have. And uh, yeah, I guess look forward to a week, hopefully no longer than a week, but maybe weeks of rest to come. And how gorgeous is it? Oh, so worth me hobbling down here so that I could watch this. Girl, I even got in the ocean. I got all wet. I did some little swimming exercises to hopefully help the hip. Oh man, what a trip. All right, the doll is laid up in bed. We got some Indian food. We got a fun little rom-com on. And girl, she's all smiles here. It wasn't the day that I wanted, but it was the day that I got and I made the most of it. So I'm proud of myself. Ready to eat some food, take a lovely painkiller and head to bed. Time for my last bath. Praying it will help heal my hip a little bit since I'm gonna have to hobble around so much today at the airport. Well, good news, you guys. I made it to the airport without my crutches. That's right, the two days of rest really did me well. So hopefully I'm gonna take the rest of this week off and I will be healed and back to normal. But anyways, this is a wrap on the Hawaii vlog. I hope you had so much fun. I love you. And until next time, stay sickening. Oh, This is Laganja. This is a uh, behind the scenes of <laughs> Life with Ganja. Is it Life with Ganja? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm punished. You She's look great. Punished. She looks good. Let's get into the shoe. I am punished. Mm -hmm. That shoe that. represents her uh, vibe last night. But are you ready for this? Watch. This is when the cameras come on. Ready? Count me down. Five. And three. Two, one. Good morning, KLA. I am so excited to be here. I cannot wait for the official Honolulu after party paradise hosted by my sister Kimora on Friday night. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, see, I can pull it together. I agree. Uh, Give me the room number. Hello, Honolulu Pride. My name is Laganja Strange, and I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Not so uh, <laughs> excited.